This is Guinea Pig Dan. I'm going to redo my old video of showing Venom Thing X plagiarizing websites with better sound this time. Just to recap for people that are new to this, uh, Thunderfoot asked Venom Thing X to cite him examples of the Bible being used to find scientific discoveries, and Venom cited Psalm 8 as uh, having a reference to ocean currents, and Leviticus 15. Uh, telling people to wash themselves to prevent infection. I'm going to show that uh, Venom borrowed quotations without uh, referencing them, and uh, I'm, I'm also going to give my thoughts on Psalm 8 and Leviticus 15, which I didn't do in my original video. Here's a clip from Venom's video, PMS and his false dichotomies, concerning Psalm 8. 3,000 years ago, the Bible described the paths of the seas in Psalm chapter 8. In the 19th century, the father of oceanography, named Matthew Murray, after reading Psalm 8, researched and discovered ocean currents that follow specific paths through the seas. Utilizing Murray's data, marine navigators have since reduced by many days the time required to traverse the seas. I wonder if Venom Fang X has been to this website before, because the eighth bullet point, well, it kind of matches what he says. 3,000 years ago, the Bible described the paths of the seas in Psalm chapter 8. In the 19th century, the father of oceanography, named Matthew Murray, after reading Psalm 8, researched and discovered ocean currents that follow specific paths through the seas. Utilizing Murray's data, marine navigators have since reduced by many days the time required to traverse the seas. And no, Venom did not credit this website in his description box at the time uh, he uploaded this video. I also noticed that this caption, which appears a couple seconds later in your video, seems to uh, match this part of that website also. There may be other borrowings in this video, but uh, I'll just leave it there, and let's move on to the next video he sent to Thunderfoot called Thunderfoot Serves Death. This is where he says Leviticus 15.13 promotes uh, good hygiene. Encyclopedia Britannica documents that in 1845, a young doctor in Vienna named Dr. Ignaz Semmelweis was horrified at the terrible death rate of women who gave birth in hospitals. As many as 30% died after giving birth. Semmelweis noted that doctors would examine the bodies of patients who died, then without washing their hands, go straight to the next ward and examine expectant mothers. This was their normal practice, because the presence of microscopic diseases was unknown. Semmelweis insisted that doctors wash their hands before examinations, and the death rate immediately dropped to 2%. Look at the specific instructions that God gave his people for when they should encounter disease. Quote, and when he that has an issue is cleansed of that issue, he shall number of himself even days for his cleansing, and wash his clothes, and bathe his flesh in running water, and shall be clean. Until recent years, doctors washed their hands in a bowl of water, leaving invisible germs on their hands. However, the Bible says specifically to wash their hands under running water. I looked up this verse online, and I found that a lot of websites that reproduce the text of the Bible online uh, actually say seven days and not even days. I even checked the online concordance Blue Letter Bible and saw that the Hebrew word for seven is indeed used and not the Hebrew word for even. Maybe the Bible Venom was using had a typo, or maybe it just translated it differently. So I looked online to see if there were any Bible translations that used even instead of seven. And I ended up here. This is the website for the ministry Ray Comfort and Kirk Cameron run, and I noticed that uh, on this list of scientific facts of, in the Bible, they had uh, Leviticus 15.13 with uh, even days instead of seven days. In fact, not only did they have that typo, they also had a whole paragraph which seemed a little familiar. It seems that Venom had just copied this website and didn't look up the Bible verse himself. Encyclopedia Britannica documents that in 1845, a young doctor in Vienna named Dr. Ignaz Semmelweis was horrified at the terrible death rate of women who gave birth in hospitals. As many as 30% died after giving birth. Semmelweis noted that doctors would examine the bodies of patients who died, then without washing their hands, go straight to the next ward and examine expectant mothers. This was their normal practice, because the presence of microscopic diseases was unknown. Semmelweis insisted that doctors wash their hands before examinations, and the death rate immediately dropped to 2%. Look at the specific instructions that God gave his people for when they should encounter disease. Quote, 
And when he that has an issue is cleansed of that issue, he shall number of himself even days for his cleansing, and wash his clothes, and bathe his flesh in running water, and shall be clean. Until recent years doctors washed their hands in a bowl of water, leaving invisible germs on their hands. However, the Bible says specifically to wash their hands under running water. Now I'm going to do something that I didn't do in my original video, and that's share my thoughts about Psalm 8 and Leviticus 15. I don't know any Hebrew, so if uh, anyone that does know Hebrew would like to help me out in the comments or in a video response, go ahead. Psalm 8 is basically a prayer praising God for his creation, and at verse 8 it talks about fish of the sea passing through the paths of the sea, and looking up the Hebrew words for uh, path and sea, I saw that the Hebrew word translated path can actually have multiple meanings. It looks to me the translation uh, way or path might be right, since uh, the verse talks about fish passing through the paths of the sea. Although if there's anyone that knows Hebrew that uh, sees that my interpretation is wrong, go ahead and correct me. But uh, even sticking with uh, you know the translating this word as path, it it's just comes off as vague to me. It looks to me the passage is just uh, poetically talking about fish going their way through the ocean. You know, what in it, in this verse, indicates it's about currents. If uh, this passage referred to the Coriolis effect, or the rotating of the earth, which uh, causes currents, I think, uh, then I think the connection between paths of the seas and currents would be a lot more clear. I will acknowledge that there uh, probably have been scientists that use the Bible as inspiration to make discoveries. But uh, to go on and conclude that, therefore, you know, the passages these scientists read must be a uh, foreknowledge of scientific discoveries, uh, you know, when, when the passages are this vague, uh, I, I don't think that's a very good conclusion to, to reach. As for Leviticus 15.13, as I've already indicated, even days should really be seven days. Uh, the passage seems to say to me that uh, you wash yourself seven days after the issue stops. So there, the infection is already gone. Also, from what I've read on several Jewish websites, ritual bathing is uh, supposed to make you spiritually clean, and it's not about making yourself physically clean. I'll link to some Jewish websites below explaining uh, what it means to be clean and unclean in, uh, in Judaism. The concept is kind of difficult to explain. So anyway, that's all I'd like to cover. If uh, anyone else wants to go over Venom Fang X's older videos and see what else he may have borrowed without a citation, go ahead. And uh, to Venom, if you want to use these websites, you know, to help you do your research, that's perfectly okay. Just remember to cite them. It would be bad news for you if Thunderfoot were to find, uh, you're screwed.